Welcome to the Eartown Television Program. My name is Joy Anderson. I'm the Member Relations Manager for the Monterey Peninsula Chamber of Commerce and your host today. My guest this morning is Laura Beth Messimer with G.I. Josie. Exactly, yes. Welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, G.I. Josie, okay. What is what is G.I. Josie? G.I. Josie is, um, we are going to be a transitional ranch community uh, specifically for female veterans who've been sexually assaulted while serving in the military. Uh, we are new, we're just three years young, so we have land targeted, we don't have the property yet, so in the meantime we're providing programs for the women um, throughout the Monterey County. Okay, so you're building on that and doing the programs at, at different locations, right, correct? Right, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. And so your, your focus then uh, about creating this transitional ranch right. basically mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, is to uh, focus on what? Uh, it's to allow raising too? Well, I mean, yeah. The ranch itself is, is specifically designed to meet the needs of these women who have been assaulted while serving and, and uh -huh. did not receive the care, the respect, the, the need okay. um, needs to be met um, after, their, after their discharge. Okay. Um, we are going to be providing all the programs that we, pr we have now, with uh -huh. the exception of Blue Water Program, all the programs we provided on the ranch 24 hours a day, so that when they get up in the middle of the night with their nightmares or their anxiety attacks uh -huh. or something like that, they can go dig in the garden or groom their horse or walk the dog or uh -huh. take a walk on the path. Um, everything's available to them when they need it. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to be providing um, that 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 housing and that service not just for the women, but if I understand correctly, for their children. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Women, uh, women with children, single women. Most often, women who are married aren't going to need right. our services. So a single woman. Uh, with their children because we find in our research we've found that these these children are also suffering their traumas as they're watching their mom goes away as one person comes back as another person and now this this little person has to uh, accommodate what's mm -hmm. happening and so we're providing all of the services to the women we provide those mm -hmm. to their children as well so that they can heal together and and grow together and, and become productive families together well exactly because if the women have been serving in the service and then they've been deployed or they've been away from their families that's the last thing you want to do is keep right. them away from exactly. each other right exactly Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are no other programs right now that allow the children to come in and heal with their moms and, and work together side by side with their moms in order to move through these traumas mm -hmm. that they're both experiencing. Oh, well, they need each other. And they for, need each other. emotional Absolutely. support. Yeah. If, yeah. If, mm -hmm. Any mom out there, any parent out there knows that if their child is hurting, they want to know what's mm -hmm. going on with their child, and they're going to treat that child first without treating themselves. Mm -hmm. And this way they can work together and, and, and work through the, program, uh, through the programs and their traumas together so that they heal, on, they heal at the same time right. and they move on. Okay. So let, let's go back to the, um, the ranch, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Um, so I know you have an idea of where you want to be. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And so what is it going to take to to get to that that point where you can start building onto this ranch well, or purchasing the yeah, mm -hmm. we have uh, we have a, a piece of property targeted up in northern Monterey County, up in Pajaro, um, and we are looking for angel donors. We have one person that has stepped up. Uh, he doesn't want to be in it alone, though, so we're looking mm -hmm. for a, other angel donors to go along so that we can we can purchase the property and we can begin. It's 100% raw land, so we have to start from scratch. Um, but we are shovel ready right now. If we were to have the property today, we'd be shovel ready and be able to go. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. So you have a website? We have a website, gijosie.org. gijosie.org, and mm -hmm. on there will be the information and the contact information if we All have my folks that right. want to step mm -hmm. up and Absolutely, and help. we appreciate it. It's, it's just really high time that these women get the appreciation that they deserve and so many of them are disregarded when they're when they're discharged and they don't get the services that they need that's not to say that they're not being provided services by the VA but they need services when the VA can't provide them and mm -hmm. that's what we're doing is we're going in and we're filling that void 
exactly. Yeah. Is there anything else in the country that's like this? There are transitional communities, um, or excuse me, residential communities um, for veterans all over the place. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing like this that is a, a ranch setting where they can live, they can heal, they can, they'll support each other. They, they t learned as a team, they trained as a team, they lost comrades as a team. And mm -hmm. our philosophy is that they need to heal as a team. Mm -hmm. And um, any vet out there will tell you they're not going to no let another vet fall. And mm -hmm. if they, they will support another vet. And that's, and we've already seen that happen within the programs, actually. Right. Okay. So, and it's really, it's a really amazing sight to see that these women that come from different backgrounds, different places, but their commonality is that they were all in the service and they all served and they all experienced some sort of abuse. Mm -hmm. And that in itself right there, they just, it, you can see them team up and you can, they have that, that lingo that I have no idea. Yeah. That's all acronyms <laughs> and all, <laughs> everything that is, is their language. And it just, um, and it just flows so easily. And so we have seen friendships formed and bonds made and women helping women already. Give me a call if you need, I know you've got that problem. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm available for you. Give me a call. It's it's happening already, um, and the, the ranch isn't even built yet. Right. So it's going to be an amazing, amazing achievement. So to participate in these programs that you're mm -hmm. doing already, um, how how does one find out about it? If well, we're right now uh, it's word of mouth. We have uh, we have uh, partnered with the VTC and the VRC, and the, and they're aware of the programs that we offer. And as well, there's a, a clinic down in SoCal on 41st Avenue that has actually referred. Uh, three women to us. Wow. So yeah, okay. so the word is getting out. And I just had actually a meeting with another woman on Friday who was just, this was number three from that clinic. Um, because she said, I heard about you, I was referred to, and I really need to see what you can do to help me. So it is, and, and that's all it is, is slowly but surely people are going to realize uh -huh. the benefits that we're bringing to these women wow. that they're not finding anywhere else. That's, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, what made you do this? What made you start this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mom, um, and my my daughter was in the Navy, and my daughter was assaulted, and and it we started looking into places where these women can go, and mm -hmm. I spoke with a with a gentleman who was a friend of mine who at the time was a, a director at the Boston VA. He's no longer there. Um, but he said that there's a demographic that my daughter was in, and that's the highest demographic to not only be neglected at discharge, but to commit suicide within three years of discharge. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, this is that's those statistics yeah, yeah. are not okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that doesn't work for me. That yeah. doesn't work for me. And so we started researching, and we we found that there was really no place for these wow. women to go. And mm -hmm. so we decided to make a place where they can go. That's so how it started. Yeah. Just yeah. Just over a cup of coffee going, oh, this is not right. We have mm -hmm. to make change. Yeah. And so, so what can we do? So what can we do? Right. And that's exactly how it started. And so and so we incorporated in 501c3 in November of 2014. And we've been, the last three years, is setting all the, you know, setting everything up. And, and we care for mom as well. So we mm -hmm. can't, it's not a full-time thing. We do it as much as we can while we have all these other responsibilities, which is fine. But we've got to this point now where we've just set a new board. We had our board was uh, was out of the area, and there were we were seven people on our board that we that worked to help us generate what we have now. Uh -huh. And now we have a local board that's going to help us put put everything oh, that's great. yeah programs in place. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. Great group of people, and all of them have the same passion to make sure that these women are cared for. It's so wonderful. when you put on these programs, do you have do you get assistance from other agencies or organizations, or is this something strictly f that GI Josie does? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean. I mean, like uh, the programs. I'm not maybe I'm oh, not sure of how beg, the programs I, are. Okay, yeah. I understand what you're saying now. I beg pardon. Um, right now, this has been self-funded. We have had a few fundraisers that have mm -hmm. been really successful, and those have helped us keep things alive. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, we're self-funded. Okay. And so this year, now that we have the board set, this year we're going to step out and do more larger fundraisers. Um, grant writing, we now have a grant writer on staff, which okay. is amazing. So we're going to be able to, to progress to the point where we can make sure that we get the land and mm -hmm. get these programs for these people. So can you give me a kind of a sample of a 
what kind of, one of what, the programs? One of the programs, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm happy to. Uh, Blue Water Project is um, everything having to do with the ocean. The women went out and they learned to surf. We, um, we uh, connected with a group called Groundswell Community Project and they're out of San Diego. They came up and we met in Pacific and we had a full day of playing in the water and learning to surf and putting all those new skills into play. Um, which was an amazing event. Um, there was one young lady that went with us who was who was really afraid of going in. By the end of the day, mm -hmm. she was just she was over the moon happy with wh how she felt and how her anxieties were just literally washed Anxiety away. Anxiety and fear, has, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So and that just that's can be great. translated sure. into everyday life. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create these programs so they can take the tools and put them into use in their daily lives as they run into challenges and problems. So the Blue Water Project, we just started right on with an, an author from Big Sur and she comes up and she's teaching the, teaching the women how to write their stories or how to put everything down on paper so they can create a book if they want to. What they do with that book is totally up to them. Mm -hmm. We have Healing with Laughter which is um, a, a, an improv, um, I don't know if you know Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and she has offered her time and her talent and her services and so we had a wonderful healing with that just launched a couple of weeks ago. And it was improv, and we had a, a huge, a, a huge day of improv. And then she happens to live on a ranch, and so the second half of it was playing with the horses and having mm -hmm. a good time. And that's another program is the equine project. So we can get right now it's on hiatus. There was a change of management at the at the ranch where we were working, um, but that was one of the gals actually who was in that project. Um, served in the 70s and it, there was an incident that triggered her her traumas and so she's overcoming those and one of the things she do is she, she taught herself how to, how to surf and so she's involved in that program as well but she had never been on a horse before and when we went to Haida she was already learning to trot and she was just in love with her horse named Prince and it was just an amazing thing um, what else? We have a couple of, of um, self-healing, like learning how to set boundaries for yourself and that sort of thing. We have a couple of those going on. Um, so there's just uh, there's just All things, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be starting a, a someone who came forward just last week and said he wants to help us with a kickboxing program. We have a gal who's a Pilates instructor and she wants to put something together. So it's just now that we're rolling, people are saying, "Hey, let me help. We're going to help. Mm -hmm. How can I help?" And these women are all the ones who benefit, and it's amazing. It's fabulous. We yeah. have such a great community. It's and, wonderful. And, and uh, yeah. resources and people yeah. that want to step up and share their skills yeah. and their knowledge yeah. to help these women. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really heartwarming, and, and it's it's time. It's It really is time. It really is time. Mm -hmm. It's time for women to, yeah, yeah. to be recognized. To be, and, I mean, and, they, and, they serve the same as, as, as the men. Exactly. Um, and yet sometimes they're a little bit, Forgotten. So, yeah. well, mm -hmm. I, and I don't think that's intentional. No, I, no, 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 I don't no. think so yeah. either. But, yeah. you know, they're, they're, a, they're a small percentage of the exactly. military base. Right. So, you know, that happens with any any organization. Absolutely, right. You know, yeah. the minority of whatever it, it, race or sex or whatever it might be, they just seem to kind of get forgotten. Yeah, a little bit, exactly. You know, so. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're right. The, the majority of the there. Mm -hmm. majority of the programs are for men. And this, mm -hmm. you know, going how many years back has it has it been? Majority of the service members have been men. That's not to say women haven't served for a long no, no, time. No, no. We've served yeah. for oh forever, yeah, that's right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. and forever, women have been talking about this, mm -hmm. but it's all been swept under the rug and it's been kept behind the military doors. And so, a lot of people that I meet today even say, "Are you sure that we need something like that? There, there can't be that many women who fall in this category." So people don't understand, and no, they it really don't is a lot because of, it's not something that you're gonna like, you know publicize, well, you know, Exa this is oh, what happened to me. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's another part mm -hmm. of the problem is a lot of these women stay in the shadows. And so it's, and, and when you stay in the shadows, you're going to stay, you're not going to allow um, yourself to heal. You're just going to stay mm -hmm. behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. And it's so unhealthy. And so on the ranch, one of the things that we're going to require is that le you at least have to get up, make your bed and go out and, and do something, mm -hmm. you know, just be, yeah. just have an, it's an eventful day of some sort, whether mm -hmm. it's just playing in the garden or going to the dance hall and, and dancing or playing mm -hmm. the piano or doing something to get yourself out of that shell. Because there will be, with the number of programs that we're providing, there will be something for everybody. 
everybody. And someone who doesn't like horses may love the ocean or may love art or may mm -hmm. love playing the piano sure. or learning the guitar or there's going to be something that triggers that this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Plus it also that. gives yeah. people the opportunity to go, oh, I've never done that before. Exactly. But you know what? I'll give it a try. Exactly. I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. And who knows? They and might have knows? really found a place. It, exactly. And yeah. that's just what we want. We just mm -hmm. want them to find their place so that they can be comfortable and they can heal and move on. That's what, that's all I we think want. That's fantastic. That's all I we just want. I just love what you're doing. Thank I think you. you know, and I and I'm so excited to hear that so many people are yes are just coming in and going, What can I do to help? Well, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so please anyone who wants to come in and help, we yes. are we Yeah, sure all your contact <laughs> information's on your website. <laughs> yes, so check absolutely. that out, mm -hmm. you know, because right. yeah, there's more things. And then you'll be posting events and things now absolutely. that you're gonna start doing more fundraising absolutely. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Get a little mm -hmm. bit more exposure for yeah, you. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for and for these women. Exactly. So you started mm -hmm. this in 2014, and when did you move to this area, or have you been in this area for a while? No, we've only been here um, a little over three years. We were okay. in we were in Watsonville previously. We lost my dad, and we were looking for a place where all of us could live, and w with my mom, and mm -hmm. so my mom, we could take care of my mom, share the responsibility, and we found this wonderful little house in uh, in. Castroville, okay. uh, over by Elkhorn Slough. In fact, we can see the slough from the house. It's a really beautiful spot, mm -hmm. and and that's how that's how we came here. And it was an absolute ble blessing. We had uh, that was before the clinic opened, and so okay. and we had wanted to situate ourselves close enough to the clinic so that the women could access it mm -hmm. and also have um, access to Palo Alto. So. Um, and so by being here in Monterey County, it just turned out to be the absolute perfect spot. That's a perfect spot. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. proximity even up yeah. to, to the VA hospital yeah. up in Palo Alto. Right, exactly. Yeah. And I know that the clinic provides uh, transportation to Palo mm -hmm. Alto, but we will also have a bus going. So if, if they need to go on a day that, that Monterey or that the clinic Yeah, that provider. it doesn't work out for them. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure that they get there. So it is. It turned out to be just like... Thank you. This is a blessing. This is just, this is, and that's a beautiful area. How yeah. could you not love Monterey County? Oh no, my God. you can't. It's, it's, yeah. Plus, so. we're full of really helpful and generous people. Absolutely. So, yeah, so, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. that's wonderful. And we have the natural healer. We have the ocean right there, which is anybody who goes and sits by the ocean for 10 minutes just mm -hmm. feels the difference. It yeah. feels the difference. There's mm -hmm. that energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and good energy. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We're the perfect spot. Well, I, I commend you for, you know, what you've done in the last, what, three years, three pretty years. much, yeah. pretty mm -hmm. much, right? right. Mm -hmm. and, and the programs and things. I know when I first met you, it was you weren't even that close no, yet. Yeah, you were yeah. not even that close. Yeah, so it was just you we know. Were trying to, we were still trying to figure, put, put things in place and put plans together and that sort of thing. So yeah, but we, your hard work is paying off. We're working hard to make it happen for these guys. But you're dedicated. I yeah. mean, this is a this is something that you just need to see happen. Absolutely. So, you know, and that's right. that's all thing. It's the passion that you put into it and the dedication. So I commend so, you. Thank and, you. And Charles. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, we can't oh, mention, man. not mention Charles. Oh, man. If he was here, he would Yeah, absolutely. He would be he's all put in, in yeah. oh he is yeah, this is his niece that happened yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. he's very much a protective uncle, yeah. so, so he doesn't the, want to yeah, see the it brother happen. sister team is yeah. strong and yeah, yeah. so great. Mm -hmm. So check out the website, gigoz dot org, dot org uh, for more information, um, how you can help, how you can support, um, and how you can get in contact right. with, with everybody because um, this is a. This is an organization that is growing, and um, we're excited. Thank you. In a couple of years, we'll have you back, and yeah. you'll go, oh, my gosh, yeah, all these absolutely. great Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, looking for those angel donors. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you yeah. so much for Thank joining you. me. Thank you. Thank you, Joy. Yeah. So much. Okay. Love it.